disturbing story out of um, East Memorial High School. Uh, East Memorial has uh, had a long playoff drought, and they brought in Coach Scott Phillips, and they actually started playing way better. And Scott Phillips all of a sudden finds himself out in the cold because when he was hired, it wasn't part of the written contract that he signed to be hired, but he was told, you've got to start coming to our church, not that other church that you go to. And uh, he said that the, so the uh, athletic director must be a member of East Memorial Baptist Church. And Phillips actually said, I was 30 seconds from turning the job down because of the church issue. They wanted me to transition from the Church of the Highlands to East Memorial. I never really liked it, so I told them I was willing to give it a try, but I don't know how it will work out. For one year, Phillips and his entire family went to both churches. They would go on Sunday at 9 a.m. to East Memorial, and then at 11 a.m. to his previous church, Church of the Highlands. And uh, again, the policy was not documented anywhere, but it was one of these things where it was made very, very clear to Scott Phillips. And when uh, the school was asked, why isn't it just part of the contract? The response was terms of a contract, hiring or job expectations are confidential information that cannot be discussed. Phillips wrote back and said, you know, this really isn't working for me. It's just not working. He didn't hear back from school officials about that. And he then ended up resigning after he says they would not cave on their policy of just letting him go to his uh, original church. I understand we can have a debate about, well, he was kind of told up front, but it wasn't really anything that he signed. So was it really binding in any kind of traditional sense? I don't really wanna have that conversation. The conversation I wanna have is, is it Christ-like to have a policy or to, he wasn't really fired, but to force a guy out because he's not a member of your specific church. And remember, it's not that he's not part of your religion. We know about firing people because they're the wrong religion altogether. This is a follower of Jesus, right? He just followed at a different church. Is that Christ-like? Is this really representative of, I don't know, what, what do we even call it? Good faith Christianity? I'm, I'm not really sure what the term would be. If this is what they do to Christians that go to other churches, what do they do to Muslims, Jews, atheists? Do they even have a shot of being hired at East Memorial? Very, very, very disturbing here. And um, I, I think that it was probably a problem, a problem for Scott Phillips, that he was told this, it wasn't in writing, he kind of agreed. He, we can criticize him for that. But is this Christ-like? Is it Christ-like to say, you've got to follow Jesus, not only at your church, but you've got to do it at our church. It's very, very concerning stuff. Let's take a break. Coming up next, we'll talk to Zach Copland. Then later on on the show, a lot more stuff, including your voicemails. Very, very good show today. DavidPackman.com slash NYC is the membership special. Check it out. Free t-shirts back after this. <laughs> 